All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, representing the red corner. Age at 29, weighing 70.7 kilogram, height 1.70 meters, having a professional record of 37 wins, 17 by way of knockout, two draws, seven losses. WLF world champion, ISKA European champion. Ladies and gentlemen, is fighting for Bulls team, coach Philip Verinden. Ladies and gentlemen, from Belgium, let's give it up for Navi, AK 47, Bilalowski. Representing the blue corner, age 29, weighing 71 kilogram, height 1.82 meters, having a professional record of 36 wins, 17 by way of knockout, and three losses. Ten time title holder, ladies and gentlemen, is fighting for champion club, coach Jafar Ahmadi. Let's give it up from Iran to Masood, the silent assassin, Minay. Ladies and gentlemen, the championship is on the line. Who will be the very first ever champion here in FCE? Here we go. Everyone wow. walks that beautiful belt. That's what starts with a high kick. Certainly has the potential for it. He knows that Nap is not a joke, and he is careful. He's not going all in from the from the beginning of the round. Well, as we said, Mine is certainly the bigger fighter, five years older, excuse me, seven years older, five centimeters taller, and just looks like the bigger individual. Bilalovsky, shorter, more compact, more put together here. As with Vitaly Matei, Nath Bilalovsky is not rushing the things. He's taking his time. He wants to see what the opponent wants, and they know it's a... It's a final. They don't rush the things. <clears throat> Man, did he tag the body good that time. Both guys getting very physical here. I feel like as soon as, you know, Masud Minai gets punched, he just, you know, wants to respond. He wants to show the judge that he's better. What a knee. Well, I'll tell you what. He put the lights out several times with that kick. He can do it again. I think both of the fighters are good in spinning shit. They definitely don't rush. He's gonna go to the extra round. Love the speed of both gentlemen. Things can change in the blink of an eye. Whoa, Bielowski very, very close to landing that kick. Both guys very sharp. A lot of snap still in their punches and kicks. Don't you think, Daniel, that they haven't recovered from their fight? Because they haven't had a lot of time. It's quite energy consuming sport. That's why they don't rush the things. They just take their time, see what each of them can do, and finish the work in the second or third round. Looks like Mene has really got something from the middle of his shin, from the middle of his left shin. He's got some kind of a wound, a very deep bruise that is perhaps bleeding just a bit. Yeah, you've seen his first fight. He just goes all in with that kick. And this is how, you know, Mesut Minai fights in all the fights. End of round one. I couldn't see Bill Lovsky's face from the way he was standing here from my uh, perspective, but Mene was just staring a hole through his opponent there just before the bell rang. Yeah, 
feel like something wrong with Masuk Minaya. Either he didn't recover or he got injured, as you mentioned. His shin. It's his shin. His good. left shin has got to be killing him. The thing he just can't properly stand Ooh. there. He's still got another leg to kick with, though. My God. Whoa, and he caught a right hand down the middle that time. I think that his ankle... Well, look at his, look at his other shin now. Looks like it's busted, too. And there's a slippery ring there on top of it. Whoa, Bilalovsky flying in now with some offense. Ho, ho, ho! Showtime! Now it's time for Mesut Minai. He is going forward. Look at that high kick. That's may that may be what Bilalovsky needs to do here is just take the fight to him. He's he's the shorter guy, he's the smaller guy, but I'll tell you what, is he powerful? He waits for Masud Minaya, and as soon as he kicks, he just blocks and responds with a low kick. And there does seem to be some kind of communication problem here between uh, Minai and and the officials, the referees. Like I don't think he understands the commands, the the oral commands of the referees at times, and he seems a bit lost as if he's actually being reprimanded for breaking the rules or not. Yeah, Mesut Minai, he doesn't know English very well. That's why it may be a miscommunication with the officials. I don't know if we've got any Iranian-speaking uh, officials here. Yeah, I feel like Mesut Minai, he needs to do something. It's definitely not enough. It's definitely Ooh, not enough. That right hand may help, though. Doesn't look like a final, they need to do something. Whoa. I know they're injured, but this is FC. This is fight for the belt. Yeah, but Benet's belt. hitting him hard though. Now when he's hitting, he's hitting him very hard. He's he's punching him like that. Look at his head snapping back. When he's kicking him in the head, even though he's blocking it, the force of the kick is getting through. Is it enough to win this fight? It could be. Okay. Look like Bilovsky's feeling it now. Oh good grief! He hit him in the chin and he just dropped him. His legs gave out when he hit him in the chin with that knee. Yeah, Mesut Minai needs to do something now. He says he's okay. I don't know about that. I saw his legs completely buckle on him. Oh, my! That'll give him something to think about. Well, that knockdown is huge. That is very, very huge. That may just win him the fight. Indeed. Yes, you can see Masud now that he's losing. Oh my God! And he did do it! I told you he knows it. He knows that he needs that knockdowns. And that's exactly what he needed and he got it. I don't believe it. Right in the opening seconds of round number three, Masud Mane has just leveled the playing field. He needs to show that the belt is his. He needs to go all in. Without taking, oh, not taking oh, punches. Oh. What a fight! This is FC. Fight for the belt, the final fight. Well, it's anybody's game now. This next two minutes is going to prove once and for all who is the real champion. Who really deserves the belt? What an unexpected knockdown that was from Minet. I knew he had it in him. I just didn't know it. I, whoa, wait just a minute. A slip there. I just didn't know we would see it literally in the first two or three seconds of the round. I'm expecting an extra round here, to be honest. And the better prepared will win the fight here. Look at the left side of the body of Bilalowski is all battered and bruised. I, I think they... He should give credit Ooh. to Bilalovsky. It's not his weight class. He moved the weight class up. And he's just... Like, they're having just an even fight. He's a shorter guy. 
his riches less than Nasud Minais, and he still does it. I think both of the fighters Ooh. need knocked down. And now's the point in the fight where you can see just how battered these guys are. They, they're bruises all over their body. The action's slowing down a little bit. The power has drained. Oh my God, or maybe it hasn't. He just belted him with a right hand that dropped Minet. And now it was where he needs lightning to strike twice. Can Minet do the unthinkable one more time and put down Bilalovsky? It's the only thing that'll save him at this point. 100%. Bilalovsky's going in for the kill now. On the 20th, five seconds. Here he comes. Left. 15 seconds left here. Still anything possible. You've seen it in the beginning of this round. Bill Lowe's, he's got him trapped in the corner now. Final second, he went for it, but he couldn't get it. Your new champion has got to be Nafty Bill Olowski. An incredible performance tonight. by a majority decision one referee gave a draw so the winner is ladies and gentlemen let's give it up for Navi Bilalovsky from Belgium